there's a, two middle-aged men and a woman from England mm. talking about issues that concern Irish women's bodies. Mm. If, if you read back through the judgments over the last year, you will find that, mm. um, for example, the BAI say that we're allowed to have people on telling personal stories. Mm-hmm. You know, so that, that's a slight change. The, the other thing about um, you know, the, the repeal of the Eighth Amendment is we had Ronan Mullen on, Senator Ronan Mullen on recently, mm-hmm. and, uh, and I was in the middle of the interview with him, so um, the, me, middle-aged man, talking to Ronan Mullen, who's a middle-aged man, and then we had uh, a woman on the phone from England talking about post-abortion counselling. Mm-hmm. Uh, a service that her organisation were offering Irish women, mm-hmm. and it struck me. I got this out of body, you know, thing that this is a microcosm of the problem. You know that there's a, two middle-aged men and a woman from England mm. talking about issues that concern Irish women's bodies. Mm. That's and and I, I heard that item. I was driving to, to Sligo at the time, just by the by. But uh, uh, Rona Mullen, he started. He had some slightly personal attacks on you and, mm. and the stance you were taking. Um, it was it was obvious that you weren't rising to that bait. But did you, and if you were on Today FM, perhaps you would have dealt with that a bit differently. You might have engaged. It might in have been a, a different interview if it was on Today FM. Yeah. It may have been.